So I recently released a video where I revealed one of my pet sites, exoticpetplace.com. It's a website that I've been having some indexing issues with and I thought I would happily share it with you guys to get some feedback. Maybe you can spot something that's wrong with the website, something I may have overlooked. Now, one of you eagle-eyed viewers have actually spotted an error on that. And it's basically my website by certain filtering software companies, particularly McCaffrey in this instance, has been marking my website as unsafe. So, is there a fix for that? There is actually, and it's a pretty simple one. It's something that you may have not noticed before or seen on your website or had to deal with. But if you do, you might find this interesting. So, let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to the channel again. Yeah, so my website that I revealed, exoticpetplace.com, is being marked as unsafe by one particular filtering software, and that's McCaffrey. Now, companies like McCaffrey are there to basically keep the viewer, the visitor, the reader safe. They don't want you clicking on a website that may be spam, or it may be harmful content, or rude or explicit content. So these companies are there to keep the reader and the viewer and the user safe and secure. Uh, particularly children and people under the age of 18. So these filters are there to gather feedback on websites and determine whether they are unsafe for somebody to view. Now, my website has been marked as unsafe. Now, this can often happen with a brand new website because there's no data or information about the website. So companies like McCaffrey and WebSense, and there are many, many others, uh, don't have any information to go on. So they're not sure if the website is unsafe or not. And it can particularly be marked as unsafe if somebody has landed on that website and it's not what they wanted and they've clicked it or marked it or reported it as not suitable. Now it might have been not suitable for what they wanted, but it is a genuine website and with them marking it as unsafe, it flags back to these filtering softwares like McCaffrey. So there is obviously an issue if anybody does log into the site. Now it's not for everybody, it would depend on what browser or what security software you're running, whether it would pop up or be flagged to you as unsafe. So, you know, there was hundreds of visitors went on the website yesterday and only one or two may have actually experienced that message popping up. But thankfully, there is a real quick, simple fix for it. So all I did is, if you look on the screen now, I went to McCaffrey and I logged a ticket. So basically what I'm telling them is, it's my website, it's a genuine, real website, and you basically are asking them to take a look at it and mark it as safe, or take off that filter that is uh, popping up that unsafe error. Now, once you log that ticket, you'll get a response pretty much straight away. And then it takes three to five days approximately for them to fix and uh, put your website back to safe. So it is a quick and simple solution to do. So that's with McCaffrey. Now, if you want to check any other software or filtering companies, you can do. There are plenty out there. So I've put a few up on the screen now. So the first one you can see on screen is global.site safety. And this is, again, a very simple tool that you can use. You just pop your URL in there and click check now. And this will flag up whether your site has been marked as unsafe. If it's all good, basically it returns no listing. So it'll say untested uh, or you won't really get much data back. And then you know your site's good. Only if it's bad or flagged up as bad will you see an error on screen. And then another one you can see on screen now is uh, brightcloud.com. And again, you can see we put exotic pet place through here and it's come up as fine. You can see the green tick there and it says that there is um, no past history or it's not being flagged at all. So we're all good using that tool as well. And again, there's one more here you can use. This is a transparency report from Google. So this is one of Google's own tools. And again, you can put in check site status and again, it comes up, you can see there's a green tick and it says no unsafe content found. So if you are concerned that your site is being flagged up for whatever reason as unsafe, you can check, particularly with a specific uh, filtering software provider that is popping up with the error, 
But then you could check all of them just to be safe. So you could check the Google one, the global one, the McCaffrey one. You could check them all and just gives you that peace of mind that there's nothing that's holding your website back technically like that. So it is pretty new to me. I've not had this flag up before. So it did take a little bit of investigation. And once I found how we could do that, it was quickly solved. So thank you to the viewer who pointed that out. I don't think that's the reason why we're having the indexing issues, but it's certainly not gonna help things, is it? So it will now take three to five days and that unsafe error will disappear and we'll all be good. So thanks for everybody who checked the website out. There's a lot of great feedback coming back, a few spelling mistakes that were spotted, a couple of pages that was too big um, within the actual screen setting, so we corrected that this issue uh, and a one or two images that didn't sit right. So nothing really, really bad I don't think has come back from the website. So if you want to check it out, exoticpetplace.com, feel free to comment, let me know what you think of the site and if you think there's any reason why it's not getting indexed. Otherwise, I think we just need to sit back, let the organic traffic grow naturally, keep adding content, try a bit of outreach, get a few backlinks on there and then hopefully one day Google will show us a bit of love. So thanks for joining me, like the video if this helped you and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next video.